to a brand new Roblox Studio scripting tutorial. Um, I know it's been a little bit since I've used my voice, but we are here, and I'm using my voice. So yeah, we're here in Roblox Studio today, and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be making it so when I touch the screen part, it will send me to this red part. So it's just like a teleportation script. So first, we're going to want to get our two parts. So it can be, it, you can make it fancy, you can do whatever you would like. Properties don't matter, just make, I mean, I would prefer if they were anchored, pre preferably, um, because, you know, it would make more, it would make more sense. So just, it, you can name this whatever, but make, so just make sure you remember the name of the part you want to teleport to. So I name mine Destination, just so I remember. All right, so let, so when you, what you want to do is you want to insert a script into your part. Now, I've already inserted my script, so just um, click the little plus right here, and then just do um, script, or if it's not right there, just um, uh, search up the script. So when we go, when we go into the script, we are, we are going to be start, we are going to start by saying script dot parent. Now, when we say script dot parent, we're referencing the script. So when we say script, we're just referencing the script. Then we say dot parent, we're referencing the part. So then we're going to do dot touch, dot touched. Then we're going to say connect function. Then we're going to make an argument in our function or variable, whatever you want to call it. Then we're going to say hit. Then we can go right here and we can enter. That'll create an end for us. So next we can say if hit and a hit dot parent. So we're just kind of, you know, we're using and. We're using an if statement here. And here with hit, we're just referencing this again. So if hit and hit dot parent, then we're gonna do we're gonna do find first child. So find first child and find the first child. I don't know. If, I mean, I don't know if you guys would know because I haven't really explained that. And then we're just gonna write humanoid. And then after that, we're just gonna write then because most if statements end with the word then. That'll create a new end for us and make sure you hit enter. So next we're going to write hit dot parent dot humanoid oh dot humanoid caps lock it sucks humanoid root part and then we can say dot c frame so c frame is kind of like camera related things so c frame you know just camera related stuff so you know your roblox camera then we can do equals workspace so when we say equals workspace workspace is like saying game dot workspace because when you say game dot workspace when you say game you're referencing the game as a whole and when you say workspace you're referencing the service workspace so say i needed to get something out of the replicated storage it's say game dot replicated storage but in this situation we're just going to shorten our code we're just going to say workspace so now we can do workspace dot destination since i named my um my part destination that's why i said to remember it if you can't remember it just go to workspace uh click the drop down arrow if it's not down and then you can just copy the name destination or if you want you can just like i, I mean name it whatever you want just make sure the name is exact to what you have right after workspace and then i can do dot c frame and then after this i can just hit play here after it loads we're going to Go right up to the green part, and it teleports us to the red part. Let's do that again just to see. Yep, and then you can even do like an infinite loop thing. <laughs> this is how you make a teleport part, a very simple teleport part, I will say. It's a simple teleport part, because this can get way more advanced. I mean, this is, I mean, this doesn't even use a teleport service, um, so, or whatever it's called. I forgot what it's called. Um... So yeah, this is this is not the most advanced. This is pretty simple, but it's enough to get you started. I hope this can help you with the game. Thank you for watching.